Welcome back guys. Hey, a little bit of shop time on the Sabres today. This is the 84 uh, V65 1100 Saber. And uh, this is the one we're rebuilding from crash damage. And I'm gonna show you the speedometer wasn't working. So I thought maybe I ripped the line here and uh, I unplugged it here. So there's the other end. But I put a different line on before it was going to like 20 and then it would jump to 40 and it wouldn't go beyond that. Um, and I was thinking maybe I busted the housing and something wasn't working in there. Um, but I was hoping it was just the cable because I had an extra cable. So I actually show you over here. I had a whole front end off of a V65 Sabre. So I thought, okay, cool. We'll pull parts off of there and put them on here and it should be good to go. Replace the cable and then it didn't register at all so i thought okay so next thing to check is the actual gear that locks in here and then turns now that's that's not a cable going up there that's just an electrical connector and so for 84 85 sabers we have this little gear in here this is the one that came off my wrecked bike so as you can see this little plastic part spins inside and uh, that's how you get your speedo reading and then I guess I don't know how it works but your line attaches into there and that turns and I guess it's electronically broadcast up to your speedometer and uh, as you can see this was must have been jarred in the accident and broke off that little piece now why is it plastic I don't know you know Honda's good but I don't think they did that shouldn't be plastic I don't know but anyway I pulled uh, this one off of that front end thinking oh it's gonna be good no both of them are broken off on that one so I didn't even try to put that one on there's no point so eBay to the win eBay for the win I have a new one that looks like it will work both tabs are good I'm gonna install this one and uh, hopefully we have a speedometer again. If I install this and it doesn't work, I will put on the old cable. But uh, I don't see why this cable wouldn't work. Here's the other end of that. That fits in the gear. And then, oh, the screws are somewhere. Oh, my screw's up here. So that just screws right into the bottom of that. So I need to take the axle back out. And uh, the reason the brakes are off because these are almost new brake pads and uh, I have to compress the pistons to get the rotors back in on both sides so I took them off so I could put it back together in the meantime and I could push the bike around so I'm gonna get this jacked up conveniently have the crash bar I can jack it up there get this in the air pull the axle out reinstall this new gear plug it in and see what we got Beyond that, I still need to put the cover back on. I got a, an eBay cover, so I can put that back on. It's not doing anything. It's not doing any harm having it off, but that'll pretty it up. I did use some JB Weld here to, where the cover cut in there. That's holding. I'm not getting any leaks from the lower hose. Um, bent that back into place, the shifter. Other than that, a little bit of cosmetic scratching here and there that dent I believe that my handlebar is bent even though it's adjustable I put it way back in the right place but I think it's still bent so I might just have to go ahead I was thinking of changing them out anyway but I think I might just go ahead and change the bars just got to unclamp it pull all that stuff off we'll see I don't know maybe I'll ride it see what I think but I think other than that, everything is still straight and everything's back together. So I'm going to work on doing this. It's not hard. Undo the axle, pull it out. There's a spacer on the other side. Make sure you don't lose that. Roll the wheel out. Then I will install the gear, put the wheel back in, push the pistons back, stick them on there and reclamp the brakes. And uh, when all that's said and done, hopefully we have a speedo. If we don't, then it's more than likely that this is busted inside and maybe we'll just go ahead and uh, start using 
my phone for uh, a speed app. The other thing we're doing today, I got the exhaust off of the V45. That was a fun job. But uh, here you go. If you've never taken your exhaust off, this is uh, what you don't want to see. These are the back headers. This would smoke sometimes when you start it up. And we knew there might be a leak there. Well, now you know why. This was cracked and uh, being held together by this stuff. So you can only imagine that that wasn't doing its job. Once I finally got the other side off, it was cracked and not even being held on by anything. So there you go. Beyond that, our collector was pretty much rusting out and uh, didn't have a spot like on the other side for the muffler to fit on. So there was no way that was gonna hold up. And uh, this is pretty much junk. Not much you can save off of this. So this is probably gonna go in the bin. I actually broke this trying to get it off. I basically just took a crowbar and hammered it down until it came loose. And that's the, uh, <laughs> that's what happened. So. I have a new exhaust coming, uh, used exhaust. I'm hoping it's good. Um, I want to put everything back together real nice and hopefully we have a good thing to go. So uh, I'm going to work on the 65 over here and there we go. Okay, Speedo gear is now back installed. I didn't hook up the line yet, but in case you were wondering, over here you need a 17 millimeter wrench for the axle six millimeter for the lock nut and I believe it's eight millimeter for the brake uh, nuts so can't find mine it is missing so I must have used it and thrown it so I gotta go find it but hopefully this is good and I'll be happy and uh, we'll be back to riding the baby girl okay the good news here is I didn't have to compress the brakes I just uh, separated them by hand and because I wasn't trying to get two on at one time, trying to squeeze both rotors between the pads, I was able to put them on and uh, lightly tap them into place. Uh, we had a 12 millimeter and a 14 millimeter, I believe, bolts right here. And then the other side was an eight millimeter. Those bolts were held on by this with the eight millimeter. Yep, I found it. And uh, now, to put the Speedo gear in, I wanna be very careful, because I don't wanna break it. Now watch right here. You can see this guy turning as I turn the wheel. There you go. So that's gonna spin around with the wheel. And uh, that fits into a little groove. Let's see if you can see down in this hole. There's a little slot in there that I guess is the electronic part of it that tells it how fast it's going. So I'm gonna hope. I need to line this up with that, put it right into place, put that little screw in, and we're all back together. And I guess I could take it for a test run. See if we fixed our problem. Um, yeah, so not too bad a job. Just have to be careful, make sure everything's torqued and tight and uh, front wheels back in place. So update on the Sabre speedometer issue. We still don't have a Speedo. The gear isn't clicking like the second one. Or no, when I changed the cable, it started clicking weird. Um, so it sounds good on the bottom. I tried both the original cable that was in the accident and the, uh, the one that came off the spare front and uh, they're both not working, except when I changed it up to the second one, back to the original one that was in the accident, if you really get on it, it does jump from zero to 10, but then it stops. It doesn't move from there. So there must be some st something in the Speedo itself that is not moving correctly. So I'm gonna take off the Speedo from my other Sabre and hook it up and see if maybe it'll work for me then I'll know it's in the housing and I guess I can tear that apart and
clean it up or see what's going on there. So at least I've gotten somewhere. I still don't have a Speedo, but it's looking good. Um, other than the bars, I think I'm going to change the bars out because I think that is tweaked. And I checked my tire pressures, and they're both low. So I'm going to put air in the tires. And uh, other than that, it's back together. It's on the road and uh, running great. So thumbs up for that. Give me a thumbs up on this video and a subscribe, and uh, you will see the Sabre back on the road. Let's see if I can get the Speedo working, and then uh, it'll be good to go. So see you in the next one. Have a great day.